It is being described as the first truly giant aircraft developed entirely by China, a twin-engine widebody with seating for more than 400 passengers and a non-stop range of 13,000 kilometers. More importantly, it is increasingly seen as a direct new threat to Western aircraft, especially the 777X. Its name is the Comac C939. Since details of the program began leaking last year, the project has quietly sent ripples through the global aviation industry. But what exactly is the C939? What will it look like? And why is its mere existence already enough to make the West uneasy? Let's take a closer look. The decision by Comac to pursue the C939 is the product of a long-term national strategy, one that aims to fundamentally reshape China's position in global commercial aviation and challenge a duopoly that has gone largely untouched for decades. At its core, the C-939 represents China's push for technological self-reliance. For years, the long-haul wide-body market has been dominated almost entirely by Western manufacturers, with Airbus and Boeing controlling the most profitable intercontinental routes. Breaking into this segment is not just about prestige, it is about economic leverage, industrial capability, and strategic independence. A domestically developed wide-body allows China to reduce reliance on foreign suppliers at a time when geopolitical tensions are increasingly influencing trade certification and technology access. Concrete signs that this ambition is moving beyond theory emerged in 2024. On May 13th, the South China Morning Post reported citing an anonymous source familiar with the program that COMAC had officially begun preliminary design work on the C-939. While references to a potential C-939 had surfaced sporadically in Chinese media and interviews as far back as 2011 to 2017, those earlier mentions were largely speculative. The 2024 report marked the first meaningful indication that the project had entered an active development phase with real engineering resources now being committed. The timing is no coincidence. This wide-body aircraft aligns closely with national initiatives such as Made in China 2025, which prioritizes domestic mastery of high-end manufacturing and complex systems. Beijing is clearly building on the momentum of the C919 China's first domestically produced narrow-body airliner now in commercial service. While the C919 alone cannot challenge Airbus or Boeing on a global scale, it provides critical experience in certification, supply chain management, flight testing, and airline support. The C-939 is the logical next step larger, more complex, and far more consequential. But perhaps the most powerful driver lies in market dynamics. Within the next few years, China is widely expected to become the largest aviation market in the world, surpassing even the United States. Passenger demand is forecast to explode, and fleet requirements are projected to reach into the tens of thousands of aircraft across all categories. Long-haul international routes in particular will expand rapidly as Chinese carriers grow their global networks. China does not want this once-in-a-generation opportunity to be captured almost entirely by foreign manufacturers. Allowing Airbus and Boeing to dominate this growth would mean exporting not just capital, but industrial leadership bargaining power and technological influence. That's why this wide-body aircraft is designed to beat the Western aircraft and prevent exactly that scenario. As the largest aircraft in COMAC's future portfolio, the C-939 would give Beijing a complete domestically produced lineup from narrow body to large long-range wide body. In doing so, it places the Chinese manufacturer in direct competition with aircraft like the Airbus A350 and Boeing's 777X. Whether the C-939 ultimately succeeds remains uncertain. But one thing is clear, this program is not about catching up. It is about ensuring that when the world's largest aviation market reaches its peak, China is no longer just the customer, but one of the rule makers. And that sense of inevitability becomes even stronger once the first details of the aircraft itself begin to emerge. At this stage, the Comac C-939 remains firmly in the pre-prototype phase, and that means one important thing. There are still more questions than hard answers. Yet unlike pure speculation, what we know today is no longer based solely on rumors or fan theories. Instead, it comes from a growing body of industry reporting informed analysis and credible leaks that together begin to outline what this aircraft is truly intended to be. What has now become clear is that the C-939 is conceived as a twin-engine long-haul wide-body jet designed specifically to operate on the world's most demanding intercontinental routes. Multiple sources converge on a projected passenger capacity in the range of 390 to 500 seats, with most analysts pointing to around 400 seats in a typical three-class configuration. This positioning is deliberate. It places the aircraft squarely against the industry's top-tier widebodies, Airbus's A350-1000 and Boeing's 777X, rather than below them. 
Range is another area where the picture is beginning to sharpen. The C939 is widely expected to target a non-stop range of approximately 7,000 nautical miles enough to cover ultra-long-haul missions such as China-Europe, China-North America, and even select trans-Pacific routes without compromise. That figure alone signals COMAC's intent this is not a regional wide-body or a stepping stone design but a true global aircraft. From a technological standpoint, the aircraft is expected to rely heavily on advanced composite materials, both to reduce structural weight and to improve fuel efficiency. Aerodynamic optimization is also central to the concept, suggesting a clean modern wing design aimed at minimizing drag over long cruise segments. Perhaps most strategically significant is the question of propulsion. While COMAC has not confirmed an engine selection persistent reports point toward a domestically developed high-bypass turbofan, most often linked to the CJ3000 program. If realized, this would represent a major leap toward propulsion independence, one of the most difficult barriers in commercial aircraft development. Crucially, the aircraft is not planned as a stretched or modified version of the smaller C929. Instead, it is intended to be an all-new airframe larger in scale and optimized from the outset for long-range operations. That decision adds risk, but it also allows the Chinese manufacturer to avoid design compromises and build an aircraft purpose-made for this segment. What remains absent for now are official numbers and visuals. COMAC has yet to release dimensions such as wingspan maximum takeoff weight or detailed avionics architecture. No official renders or drawings have been published either. Every image circulating today is an unofficial artist's impression created by aviation enthusiasts or media outlets. Still, those illustrations reveal an interesting consensus. They consistently depict a sleek modern wide body with large high bypass engines, a smooth composite fuselage advanced wingtips for efficiency, and a glass cockpit befitting a next generation airliner. Some earlier concepts even explored a T tail configuration, though this remains far from confirmed. These images should be treated for what they are interpretations, not revelations. Yet taken together with the emerging technical outline, they serve an important purpose. They hint at a future aircraft that is no longer imaginary, but increasingly defined, and that is what makes the C939 so compelling. As of December 20, 25, the Comac C939 remains firmly in the earliest stages of its life cycle. There is no prototype, no finalized specification sheet, no launch customer, and no official entry into service date. On the surface, progress may appear minimal, but it leaks a very different fact. In May 2024, after the South China Morning Post reported COMAC officially had initiated preliminary design work on a new large wide-body aircraft known internally as the C-939. While the aircraft's name had circulated in Chinese aviation discussions for years, this was the first credible indication that engineers were actively shaping the concept behind closed doors. Momentum quietly continued. By September 20, 24, COMAC publicly acknowledged the C-939 during announcements at the Harbin International Aviation Hub Construction Conference, describing it as an intercontinental passenger aircraft entering its early research phase. The wording was cautious, but the message was unmistakable. The program had moved beyond rumor and into formal corporate planning. The most high-profile confirmation came in June 2025 at the Paris Air Show. There, the Chinese manufacturer representatives stated that development of this wide-body aircraft was progressing smoothly and that an official program launch would come in due course. No dates were offered, no specifications revealed, but the aircraft was clearly framed as the next step in Beijing's product roadmap positioned above the smaller C929 widebody. Yet for the remainder of 2025, the program remained deliberately low profile. There were no announcements regarding detailed design freeze supplier selection or prototype construction. This silence exists for a reason. COMAC's immediate priorities stayed focused elsewhere, ramping up production of the C919 narrowbody and advancing the C929 program, which by late 2024 had secured Air China as its launch customer. Even that aircraft is not expected to fly as a prototype until around 2029 or later. Within this context, the C939 is widely viewed as a successor rather than a parallel effort. Industry analysts generally place its potential entry into service around 2035 at the earliest, with some estimates pushing into the late 2030s or even early 2040s. That long horizon reflects the scale of the challenge. Developing a large, long-range widebody is exponentially more complex than a narrowbody program and far less forgiving of mistakes. However, several major hurdles remain unresolved. Chief among them is propulsion. A domestically produced high-thrust engine capable of powering an aircraft of this size is still under development with more advanced evolutions of the CJ engine family often cited as candidates. B-1 
Beyond engines, COMAC must master large-scale composite structures, long-range systems integration, and perhaps, most critically, international certification in markets outside China. That is the second huge challenge. This challenge spans its entire lineup, from the C919 narrowbody already in service to the developing C929 midsize widebody, and especially the early-stage C939 large long-haul aircraft. While domestic success has proven that China can build and operate modern airliners, global acceptance remains a far more complex and unforgiving test. Without airworthiness approval from major Western regulators, most critically, the European Union Aviation Safety Agency and the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration Chinese aircraft are effectively locked out of most international markets. Airlines cannot freely operate them on global routes, and lessors cannot place them with confidence. For the C919EASA certification was once hoped for around 20 to 25, but expectations have since shifted. FAA approval meanwhile appears indefinitely stalled with geopolitical tensions, leaving no visible path forward. For wide-body programs like the C939, these hurdles would be even higher given the aircraft's scale and technical complexity. As a result, COMAC's current reach is largely limited to markets that accept certification from China's own CAAC. This means domestic routes dominate alongside a small number of receptive markets in Southeast Asia. While this provides a foothold, it falls far short of the truly global footprint enjoyed by Airbus and Boeing. Third, supply chain dependence presents another critical vulnerability. Despite long-term goals of self-reliance, Beijing still relies heavily on Western suppliers for engines, avionics, and key systems. Domestic alternatives like the CJ-1000A engine are progressing but are not expected to be ready until around 2030 and higher thrust variants needed for wide bodies such as the C939 lie even further in the future. Fourth market perception is another obstacle that cannot be solved by engineering alone. Outside China, no major global airline has placed a firm order for COMAC aircraft. Early commitments remain small and geographically limited, and without Western certification, these jets are often viewed as captive assets difficult to resell, redeploy, or lease internationally. Concerns about long-term reliability, residual value, and after-sales support weigh heavily on carriers accustomed to the mature ecosystems surrounding Airbus and Boeing products. In addition, operational scaling adds further strain. Ramping up production beyond a few dozen aircraft per year has proven difficult amid supply disruptions and infrastructure limits. At the same time, China must build an entirely new global support network maintenance facilities, spare parts logistics training pipelines for pilots and technicians if it hopes to operate credibly outside its home market. However, none of these diminishes the scale of China's ambition. Backed by massive domestic demand and strong state support, COMAC can afford to think in decades, not quarters. But for the wide-body aircraft envisioned as a long-haul flagship competing with aircraft like the Airbus A350 and Boeing's 777X, these challenges are magnified. Engine certification and proven reliability in one of aviation's most mature segments remain the ultimate tests. The industry's verdict for now is cautious. The Chinese maker's progress is real and undeniable, but turning domestic achievement into global competitiveness will be a marathon, not a sprint. Despite these obstacles, the industry consensus is clear, the C939 is progressing steadily, if cautiously. COMAC appears determined to avoid the risks of rushing, choosing, instead a methodical approach shaped by lessons learned from earlier programs. So how long do you think it will really take China to overcome all of this? Thank you for joining us today, and we wish you safe and enjoyable flights.